Facebook groups, girl groups and boy groups. There's always a sense of distinction between the two. I felt when I started Flexbiz that that distinction needs to go. And in order to eradicate that disparity, I made it all inclusive. Therefore, catering to male, female and beyond. So, having said that, Flexbiz started off with the notion of bringing people together. Doctors, lawyers, teachers, entrepreneurs, philanthropists and so much more. People liked the concept behind it, they liked the ideology and Alhamdulillah, there were 500 members within less than 12 hours. That response made me believe that I may have created something fruitful and I need to work on it. And it motivated me to take it forward by taking my initiatives further. How would I do that? I started doing that by thinking about making some services available. Seeing that, one of my friends I remember is a really cool barrister. He really liked the whole notion behind Flexbiz and offered his services as a gift to help the members of my community group flourish by having access to free legal consultations whenever necessary. He felt that the empathetic approach that I took while creating Flexbiz was something that inspired him to also be empathetic in his conduct and approach to contributing to society. Seeing him, four or five more people followed and the legal team now by God's grace is very strong. From that to now, we have services, communal services, which are still exclusive to the group members. We have free telemedicine, free access to telecounseling, also access to gynecological consultations. Seeing the whole concept behind Flexbiz, my very empathetic friend, a barrister, came forward to offer his services. Seeing him, a few more people, a few more lawyers I would say followed and together all of them have contributed to 500 free consultations for Flexbiz members so far. Though that's a rough figure, there are plenty more, I will just mention 500 for now. In order to make communal services more accessible, I felt now in addition to legal aid, telemedicine should be brought to the forefront. Therefore, free telemedicine was introduced by Flexbiz and two of my friends came with the idea to provide the services as a charitable cause first and then to help develop Flexbiz better for its community, for the people. Through our telemedicine services, we have been able to cater to the mass public in a very humble way. For example, midnight anxieties. We took into perspective that a lot of people will be anxious in the middle of the night and we were ready to attend to them 24-7. After positive response, we decided that we will open the doors to other forms of queries as well, including catering to nutritional guidance, mental health and the reproductive health as well. To cater to the healthcare needs, we have doctors, we have gynecologists, nutritionists, psychiatrists and PCOS coaches. Thank you so much Real Chamok for this thoughtful interview. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.